What's going on guys? Crypto Chris back with another cryptocurrency breakdown video. And in this video is a follow-on from yesterday's video where I'll be covering my favorite decentralized finance projects. And in this video, I'm going to be covering Kyber Network or KNC. I'm going to be doing a technical and fundamental analysis on this project. I'll be looking at USDT pairs and also on BTC pairs. I'm also going to be showing you some recent news and what we can expect with Kyber Network over the next few days. But before I jump in this video, guys, I just want to bring your attention to my Telegram page. It's a free Telegram. The link is in the description. Just to give you a quick example of currently what I posted. I posted a few days ago on July the 1st uh, that I was seen this wedge formation on kyber network against the btc pair and i said if we had a breakout we was going to see a huge surge in price and we ended up pocketing over 50 percent profit against btc pair i'm also going to be covering the analysis i've done on usdt pair as well so if you're interested in keeping up to date with all my trades and analysis and all the cryptocurrency news go give me a follow on my free telegram the link is in the des description so first of all, I'm going to jump into a uh, coin market cap. And as you can see, the top four uh, coins in the top 100, that top four gainers are decentralized finance project, Kyber Network, Binance, OX, Celsius, all decentralized finance projects. They are actually surging at the moment. I believe this is a, a factor of two things. One, they've actually got uh, actual real use case, people actually using these, these projects for liquidity, to borrow against it, to loan against it, to earn interest off it, etc. Obviously on ZRX, it's a platform where decentralized exchange can build the platform on. So there's a lot of hype uh, about this at the moment. So that it's kind of the people calling it the, the new era of IC, uh, DeFi, the new ICO. Where it was a lot of hype, a lot of money was going into it, and that's why we're seeing it, this huge, huge rise in uh, decentralized finance uh, projects. So what is DeFi? Just give give a quick uh, brief description on what DeFi is on DeFi Pulse. So Kyber Network is an on-chain liquidity protocol that lets token holders contribute liquidity called reserves. The Kyber Network offers multiple types of reserves in which it exists as a smart contract controlled by whoever deployed it. For example, Kyber Network maintains its own reserve. Kyber has a native coin called KNC, which is used to align ecosystem incentives, holders, state KNC to participate in governance and earn rewards. Reserve managers pay fees and receive rebates in KNC and decentralized applications integrators receive a portion of fee. So what is it? So basically this is uh, the website of KyberSwap. So if I wanted to go on here and had some Ethereum, I could quickly swap it for Kyber Network. Also, there's a lot more coins on that built on the Ethereum blockchain here that you can quickly swap for any token you want you can go from ethereum to kyber network s t to kyber network vice versa it's just a way of quick instant liquidity and it'll give you the exchange and it's obviously peer-to-peer -peer as well so it actually it has some actual real use case but also we've had this news of the kyber network up 29 percent ahead of ethereum staking rewards launch so kyber network um are gonna have a update coming soon uh, is launching knc staking on kyber dao which will see stakers rewarded with payouts in ethereum so if you stake your kyber network coins the knc you're going to start receiving ethereum as a reward for staking it i mean we all know the hype around ethereum 2.0 the anticipation of actual ethereum staking we can see a huge interest in this and this is one of the first projects that's going to allow if Ethereum <coughs> staking also we have the upgrade coming soon on July the 7th if I'm not mistaken and it's called Kyber Network dubbed Catalyst so with a name like Catalyst you expect it's going to be a huge huge major upgrade and I expect this uh, the use case uh, to continue to grow and the Ethereum staking is only going to increase uh, the project. It's only going to increase the in the value in against USD. It's going to have real use case. The Ethereum staking is going to be a big, big catalyst, I think. And it won't surprise me in the future if we see a lot of these um, 
DeFi projects offering to um, if you stake the coin to receive Ethereum as a payout. So over to the technical side of things. This is uh, against USD. So very, very simple. I like to keep my technical analysis very simple, guys. That's the lot how I like to work. Don't look, don't like to use many fancy indicators, etc. So what we saw here, we saw price absolutely melt down from the hype of in January 2018. We used to be trading at six dollars. Price absolutely melted all the way down. Again, another project that lost 97% of its value. It was trading for very, very few cents. And then again, we had this long, long, long winded multi year sideways consolidation. We finally got the breakout of consolidation. Guys, if you want to look out for any projects that are about to blow, if you see something like this, you've got sideways consolidation, then you get a huge move upwards. And again, Look where price came back down. Again, we had the sideways consolidation. Price was just moving sideways. Also known as an accumulation zone. Best believe all the smart money were accumulating in this zone. And now these are th these will be the ones that are selling at the very, very, very tops here, guys. All the people that are just going on the hype are the ones that are buying right at the top here. So when you see this sideways consolidation, we had the breakout, retest of old resistance became new support, and then price just carried on going upwards and absolutely surge I mean from this point here if we go from the bottom here where we're price is currently out we're currently up 16x our money so up 1688 percent so an absolute meteoric rise same again I covered in yesterday's video lend AAV which was up several thousand percent again another DeFi project that is up over a thousand percent so where can I see this coin going again we've come up to the Minus 618 extension. So all I did, it, I went from the very low here to where price was kind of struggling to break out. We had previous uh, support, became new resistance. So I knew if we broke above this, 618 was the minus 618 was going to be our target. If I just quickly move, as you can see exactly, pinpoint accuracy price came here. Personally, I sold some of my uh, holdings here, but I believe as we uh, this uh, catalyst uh, upgrade uh, be fast approaching I believe once we break above the 618 the next obvious target is going to be this zone here of roughly about $2.75 we might get another final push uh, above this zone but also we have uh, the area of psychological resistance which is going to be two dollars again that's going to be very very important zone to pass but once we uh, surpass it Anything between two seventy five all the way up to three dollars looks highly highly possible against BTC against the USD pair. If we do in fact above go above the minus six one eight, which is currently standard at just below two dollars. Again, we have two dollars, the huge uh, psychological level. We go past this, I believe we're going to see another pop in price. The hype around this is is going to be absolutely crazy as um, people get the. Uh, the news about the Ethereum staking and you're going to be getting Ethereum as staking your K KNC token. So if I just pop over to um, BTC pair. Again, I had this uh, area marked out on uh, my free telegram. Again, guys, I, I highlighted this, is, this was going to be a known area resistance of roughly about 22,000 sats. Once we break above this zone, we have another resistance again at the 618. So all I did is draw the high that we had back in um, April 2018 all the way down to the low. And again, we have the target of the 618. And again, the 786 will be the next target. Again, it will be this previous peak. If we do take out these two... Um, Fib extensions again. We'd be looking at roughly about forty thousand sats, which was would be a high that we've not seen again since two thousand and eighteen. Again, but look at this candle on the free day. I mean, this is this is absolutely crazy. This is showing how much interest, how much hype is around this coin. So areas of support again would be the three eight two, back down here, roughly about um, fifteen thousand sats. Again, we're currently finding resistance, but 
to be honest, because we haven't seen that absolutely huge sell off again. We've come up to it and it's only been a, mi a minor pullback so far. So I believe there's, the buyers are still in this market. And I believe once we pass this area of resistance, once this area uh, area is cleared, we're going to be coming back up to previous uh, support. It's going to become new resistance. And this is located around about 25,000 sats. Break above this, we're going straight to 30,000 sats. So something to watch out for. Um, I believe we're going to see um, more buyers come in as we approach the Catalyst upgrade on July the 7th. So I'll quickly pop over to BTC. If I zoom into the four hour, again, since yesterday, nothing major has happened. We've come down in this zone of support and we're currently consolidating between old, old support became new resistance and obviously old support still holding as currently as support and currently we're just moving pretty much sideways in a very, very tight range of roughly about 1%. So nothing major until we actually break below this region or we actually break above this region. But at the moment, to be honest, uh, as we get this sideways consolidation, we're seeing altcoin uh, market cut rise, altcoin market domination rise and BTC domination, uh, dominance going down. So something to look out for on BTC, but as I um, informed everyone, it is a bank holiday over in the US, so there won't be much uh, trading going. The books are a bit thin at the moment, not much trading volume. So I expect a couple of wicks here and there, but not much apart from pretty much some uh, boring uh, side action. So look out for tomorrow's video, guys. I will be covering um, Bank or BNT. That's had an absolutely meteoric rise uh, very similar to what we've seen with Kyber Network and that has got an upgrade coming very, very soon. And we could see uh, Bangkok go even higher to up to the $2 where everyone's kind of expecting price to go. So um, let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to follow me on my Telegram link is in the description. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Crypto Chris over and out.